Hey, I'm Cody, Program Manager on the Visual Studio for Mac team. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Git with Visual Studio for Mac to clone and manage your projects. VS for Mac has full Git integration for whatever Git provider you want to use, including GitHub and Azure DevOps. Today, I'm going to clone a small .NET Core project from Azure DevOps and make some changes to it and commit it back to the Git server. To start, I'm going to copy, open the project, and copy the URL to clone it. Now that the URL is copied, I'm going to go back to Visual Studio for Mac, click on Version Control, and click Checkout. Pasting the URL into the URL field will auto-populate all the settings that you need. In the case of secured and private repos, you may be asked to authenticate. Now that I've authenticated, the project is cloning. Now that we've switched branches, we can go ahead and make some changes to our code. To do this, I'm going to open program.cs and change the value of this for loop from 5 to a 4. Once I'm done with that, I'll hit Save, and I'll go ahead and build the project to make sure that I don't commit bad code. Now that, that build is successful, I can go ahead and click Version Control, Review Solution, and Commit. As you can see, the file that we modified is listed here, and the change is listed directly here. All I have to do is type in a quick commit message, and we'll be on our way. Once I hit commit, I'll be asked one more time to confirm my changes, and I can select push changes to the repository after the commit. You can also stage your changes and push them at the end of the day. Once I click commit, I'll be asked to choose either my Visual Studio configuration or my Git configuration. I'm happy with my VS config, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Once I push the changes, you can see that I'm pushing it to the tips and trick branch. You can also push it to master, but let's not do that. Now that we've pushed our changes, I can head back to Azure DevOps and make sure the change is pushed successfully and create a pull request if needed. Here we see that tips and tricks was updated just now. I can click on create pull request. From here, go ahead and title your pull request and hit create. In this video, I showed you how to check out a project using Git, make changes, and commit that code back to Git. Please stay tuned for more videos in our series.